welcome back to the One Leeds Fan Channel. I hope you're doing fantastically well. And we're zooming out content this week, aren't we? But this one is, it's always one I want to do. Talking about Pep Guardiola, talking about Marcelo Bielsa. So it's the perfect concoction to a good video. So if you're enjoying the content this week, guys, please like the video. And if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. But yeah, we're going to get into Guardiola's comments about Marcelo Bielsa today. So we know the loving that these two have. It's great to see two of the best in the business talking about each other, complimenting each other, and one of them's at Leeds United, so it makes it even better. Marcelo Bielsa was talking about Pep Guardiola this week, and he was essentially saying what Pep Guardiola does, does is unique, it's magical, it's unbelievable what he's managed to do to Manchester City, and it's true, you know, we all gush and talk about Manchester City. They could be on for the quadruple this season. But, you know, so basically this was all about Pep Guardiola responding. He said today he was completely overwhelmed by what Bielsa said. And it's just so nice to hear, isn't it? From whence we were, Leeds United in League One, struggling under Bates in the Championship. You know, all this sort of submersion in the abyss where we were absolutely just awful and not recognised as a proper club by so many people and now we're getting compliments from the best guy in the business and and Pep was talking about uh, Bielsa's Leeds United side about how impressed about the joy he feels when he watches Marcelo Bielsa's Leeds United and you could tell that in the last fixture and is, is this going to give Leeds sort of a step up for tomorrow because it almost seemed like Pep was was made a little bit nervous by Bielsa. There was a little bit of, of nervous energy between the two of them. It was like almost like Pep was overcomplicating matters. And is this going to get into Be uh, Pep's mind uh, it, it, when, when Leeds come to town tomorrow? It's going to be really interesting to see. But let's get into the comments right now. As I said earlier, guys, the overwhelming comments. He says, I feel weird. He's such a huge competitor. And this is Pep's response to Bielsa calling his, his Man, Man City team magical. I'm not going to try and uh, be weak after these words because they can do whatever they want. I'm overwhelmed. He's the most honest person. When I was able to speak with him, what he says is what he believes. And we know that with Marcelo. Marcelo has made me humble as a football fan. I don't complain you know, when Marcelo makes a change. I rarely do it because he's made me humble. <laughs> I try not to complain as much in life because of Bielsa. Like, Bielsa is not just a football man. He is everything. He's absolutely everything. He changes people as human beings. His, his ethical approach to so many things, his moral high ground. He's just, he's the perfect man. And I'm so proud that he is in charge of Leeds United. But let's get on with it. That's why I'm overwhelmed because everybody knows the admiration and respect he will always be in my heart and I always feel I don't deserve it because of course if there is one person who can find the secret or the way we want to play it's him and this is what I was talking about with the tactical mindset will Pep go into this game different because this is a unique challenge Leeds United is a unique challenge we saw that with Jurgen Klopp earlier on the season when he just turned around and went wow after the game when Liverpool in my opinion didn't deserve to win that game. A fully strength Virgil van Dijk, Gomez, Salah, Mane, full strength Liverpool side, may I add. And teams, leads are a weird, leads are like the weirdo in class who you don't want to come up against in, in an arm wrestle because he's weirdly strong. He's a, he's a bit, he's got freakish strength, leads are that weirdo in class. And this is it, you know, you've got leads are bisecting two of Manchester City's arguably most important games. You know, Dortmund, first leg, Dortmund, second leg. That game is still well in the balance. And this is a horrible fixture for Pep Guardiola. Leeds United, who Bielsa demands every single game, are 11 out of 10. And their running stats are going to be through the roof. And I think you could tell in that, that game earlier on, to be honest, there was a real moment where De Bruyne threw his hands up in the air because they're not used to facing teams like Leeds United. The players know, because we faced them in the first leg, how difficult it was. And tomorrow will not be an exception. The quality of manager and the backroom staff show in the position Leeds United are on the table. Being promoted last season and already safe, they've done incredibly well. And this is it. But the hunger never stops with Leeds. Fulham had so much more to play for against Leeds United. What did we do? We went there and we dominated. The only real chances they had were from set pieces. It was Leeds United against Leeds United. And that is it. Bielsa demands, his backroom staff demand, the players demand more every single game. This is a horrible game for any team. From what I was reading and listening to today with Guardiola, they are fully 
fully aware of the task at hand. Guardiola goes on to say it's a completely different game to what we have played so far because they demand you to do something you are not used to. And this is it. This is it's the running. It's the sprints. It's the keeping up. Have Manchester City played another team that in the last five, 15 minutes get stronger? That doesn't happen. City normally wear teams down. They kill them in the last 20 minutes and that's because of fitness. I would say Leeds are a fitter side. The running stats back that up. So this is going to be really, really interesting. We saw it in the last game um, against Manchester City as well. We got stronger. City got weaker. I recognise the best because people say he doesn't win titles, but give him Manchester City and he will win title. And this is, he will, he will win titles, sorry. And this is what opposition fans don't understand. They think because Bielsa's not won any titles, he's a crap manager. Well, that's narrow-minded thinking. It's narrow-minded. And this guy looks at the detail. This guy is a historian. He's a, he's a master. He's a technician. He's Pep Guardiola. And he understands what Bielsa's done for so many coaches, so many revered coaches around the world. Pochettino, Simeone, Pep Guardiola, three of the best I've just plucked off the top of my dome there in world football but people think because he's not won the Champions League because he's not won the Premier League because he's not won La Liga how can he be revered as one of the best well because football is more than just titles it's more about tangible things it's about the beauty of the game it's about developing players who are a 3 out of 10 to an 8 out of 10 and a 9 out of 10 and seeing those players prosper a la Benjamin Mendy I just think it's great to see the respect that Pep has for Marcelo. What he says is true. If he had a top, if he had a top team, if he was given, for example, the Barcelona job tomorrow, he would win the league titles. But would the teams run for him? Would the teams run for him? That's a question I have. But then you look at Pep Guardiola and, and Man City, who are a top team, do run for him. Um, but yeah, always interesting, isn't it? Listening to Pep Guardiola talk about Marcelo Bielsa. I thought the 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 most interesting bit was when he said you know if you give him Manchester City he wins a title and yeah I mean I fully believe that Pep Guardiola would give but Bielsa uh, Manchester City he'd probably give him his job that's how much he loves him but we don't want that do we but yeah guys let me know exactly what you think to what Pep Guardiola said about the genius Marcelo Bielsa in the comment section below hope you're all doing fantastically well as I always say you're keeping happy and healthy and uh, yeah just like the video if you would guys if you are new as I said at the start subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in a bit. Cheers.